Very often we question ourselves. We wonder whether or not we'll be ready to be a parent, to be in a relationship, for a promotion, or to adult, or really any other pivotal moment in our lives. We very often doubt ourselves. We wonder whether or not we can do it, whether or not we are ready. So what do you do? In this video, I'm gonna share with you three principles that I use to help me navigate this self-doubt. The first one is stay ready so you don't have to get ready. This is the classic situation where you're in a classroom and all of a sudden the teacher brings out a pop quiz and voila, now all of a sudden you have to remember the past month's content and then perform on this quiz. Sometimes it seems unfair, right? But to the student that spent the time reflecting, that did all the questions, that did all the homework, right? That maybe went above and beyond and actually studied whatever it was that the teacher was going through over the past couple of months. When that pop quiz comes up, yes, it might be a surprise, but that student will be able to deliver. So the lesson there from the ever ready student is stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Two, you only get in life what you can handle. For example, I had to deal with depression and anxiety in the past when I was a teenager. And of course, one day I will go into the full story. But on that, the fact that I've been through that and the fact that I've dealt with the majority of it and I am where I am today means that no matter what pretty much life will throw at me, I doubt it'll have the same effect on me as it did when I was a kid. Essentially meaning that if I can get through it when I was just a teenager, then I'm 100% sure being at the age of 23, knowing what I know now, being as self-aware as I am now, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to handle any of the challenges that life throws at me. And I'm sure that you can think of some scenarios in your life where you've had a tough time and you've managed to get out of it. And now you are where you are today. And you might even be in a tough time right now. But the fact that you've been through other ones and you've made it out, it means that you can definitely do it again. Now, the other side of that that is possible is when life throws you a curveball, when life deals you a bad hand, when it gives you the short end of the stick, or you draw the short straw to get my point, then a hallmark of great character is your ability to turn that curveball or whatever it is into your advantage. So on that, a worthwhile exercise to do is to write down the difficulties that you've had and how you've overcome them. And then this way, it helps you build the confidence to face the challenges that you're facing now and that you will face in the future. And the last one, which I reckon is my favorite, is it's just a leap of faith. There is no other scene in any movie that can better describe this right here than this scene from Into the Spider-Verse. When will I know I'm ready? You won't. It's a leap of faith. That's all it is, Miles. A leap of faith. Sometimes you just gotta jump and hope for the best. And in the end, it's you that's gotta take that leap. In all honesty, I feel like when you take that leap of faith, it gives you the opportunity to see what's your real capacity. And more often than not, you actually end up surprising and outshining yourself. And that's it, that's all I've got you. I hope that helps. By the way, before you leave, I have a very exciting announcement to share with you later on. So if you wanna be here for that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But other than that, have a great day, have a great night, have a great morning, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next video. Catch you later, bye.